Lift Every Voice is the Turner Sports Initiative, which honors our late colleague, Oscar Pope. His passion was amplifying underrepresented voices, helping raise the next generation of journalists, like A.J. Norwood, a senior at Ole Miss, the recipient of the Oscar Pope Lift Every Voice Fellowship this year. We're honored to have A.J. as a teammate here at the Final Four, and he had a chance to speak with a couple of guys with deep North Carolina and Duke roots. Jerry Stackhouse, the head coach at Vanderbilt, and Arizona State head coach Bobby Hurley. Thanks, Ernie. A.J. Norwood here alongside Coach Bobby Hurley of the ASU Sun Devils and Coach Jerry Stackhouse of the Vanderbilt Commodores. Uh, coaches, regardless of the outcome of today's game, what can you say about Coach K's impact on this rivalry game and how it has shaped college basketball? Uh, he's legendary. Um, he's, you know, 42 years in this business, um, being at the, at the highest level, competing at the highest level, you know, 100 some games won at the Final Four again in his last year. You know, what more can you say? I mean, he's been a fixture in college basketball, certainly one of the legends of, of the game. And, uh, you know, when you think about college basketball, you think about Coach K and the impacts he's had. And certainly to be to go to this many Final Fours, have a chance to win this many national championships is uh, pretty crazy to think about as hard as we know the profession is no from doubt. coaching ourselves. Absolutely. And coaches, Duke versus UNC is one of the biggest sports rivalries uh, of all time. So, the biggest. Um, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so uh, can you describe the magnitude of this game? No, I mean, it really came, man. For us to never have met in the, in the tournament before, um, it's Coach K's last, last go around, uh, Huber's first go around. So it's going to be unbelievable. A ton of alumni, a ton of fans, and some of the best fan bases in the country are going to be here supporting tonight. I just, I mean, it's hard to imagine it not being more stressful for, for these guys to play on this stage with what's on the line uh, and to do it against your rival, someone that's so close to you. And, it's, and it is crazy that this has never happened before, as good as both programs have been. Absolutely. And that's about all the time that we do have, Coach Hurley, uh, Coach Stackhouse. We truly appreciate all of your time. Uh, Ernie, back to you. It's a New Year's party here in the Big Easy as we await this year's Sugar Bowl kickoff between the Ole Miss Rebels and the Baylor Bears. On the Rebels sideline, they are capping off their first 10 win regular season in program history. As for Coach Aranda's Bears, they are looking to win their first ever 12 win season. In today's matchup, you can expect to see the Rebel offense take some big shots down the field early with quarterback Matt Corral. Corral is thrown for just over 3,300 yards this season, so look for him to take the top off of that Baylor defense. You can also look for Corral to extend plays with his legs against Baylor's talented pass rush. The ground game will also be a big factor today as the Rebels will likely try to establish the run game with that stable of running backs in the backfield made up of Jerrion Ely, Snoop Connor, and Henry Parrish. Be sure to follow us here on Twitter at Rebel underscore watch for more of your latest Sugar Bowl updates. Reporting from Caesar Superdome in New Orleans, AJ Norwood, News Watch, Ole Miss. Restaurants like the Blind Pig and Proud Larry's are looking to make their outdoor seating areas more permanent, but they have a lot of hoops to jump through with the city of Oxford if they want to make that happen. Hoops like constructing permanent patios in place of these temporary structures. After a much needed win last weekend against the Kentucky Wildcats, head coach Lane Kiffin and the Ole Miss Rebels football team are looking to carry that momentum into this weekend as they take on the number two Alabama Crimson Tide. Last weekend, the Rebel offense was absolutely explosive, posting almost 500 yards of total offense. Normally, residents of March, Mississippi would have to travel about 20 minutes down the road to grocery stores like the Save a Lot located here in Batesville, Mississippi. But with the new market in town, those trips just got a whole lot shorter. Welcome back to News Watch. AJ Norwood here in tipping things off on the hardwood. Head coach Kermit Davis and the men's basketball team have snapped their four game losing streak with their weekend win over Vanderbilt. For some students, winning homecoming king is just another accomplishment. But for Deterian Jones, this crown was a culmination of breaking barriers for minority students. Swinging things over to the diamond, the Ole Miss softball team found their groove as they swept Jackson State, California Baptist, and Missouri State over the weekend in the Ole Miss Classic. Like many apartment complexes, Lafayette Place is offering many incentives to draw in more residents. Perks such as offering things like a $500 gift card. We have been really eager to invest in our outdoor dining to make it more worthy of the square. And uh, as even the mayor said to me, have it not look like the county fair. 
It's been at least three years since Marks, Mississippi saw its last grocery store, making the small town a food desert. But just recently, the town added Jeff Coates Family Market to its community. County resident Jerry Roy says the new store is making a big difference for the people living there. Oh, it, it, it makes a lot of difference. You couldn't buy anything in town here until the lay back up. The owner of Jeff Coates Family Market was approached last year about opening a store in Marks in addition to their Tunica store. But store manager Debbie Hearn says those plans were put to a halt. We were intending to open last November. And COVID kept us from opening until March the 20th. Normally, residents of Marks, Mississippi would have to travel about 20 minutes down the road to grocery stores like the Save-A-Lot located here in Batesville, Mississippi. But with the new market in town, those trips just got a whole lot shorter. Well, this new one brought a lot of uh, hurt and pain away from people. Old people have to travel. Young people have to travel. 20 miles one way, 16 miles the other way, just to buy, you know, their growth. And for those who live farther out. And when you're just grabbing something to cook for supper at night, it's a lot easier than having to drive 30, 40 miles. Jeff Coates Family Market sits in the same building as the community's last grocery store along Highway 3 just south of Getwell Street. They are open from 8 to 8 Monday through Saturday and 8 to 7 on Sundays. Reporting for Hotty Toddy News. I'm AJ Norwood. Homecoming is normally a time to celebrate the king and queen, but for Deterian Jones, a senior political science major in this year's Homecoming King, it's more about inclusion. I felt um, a certain sense of responsibility over the summer, like when everything was happening. And I think um, when I was a freshman, it was if you were not like a white Greek male, it was like you're basically not going to win anything. Always offering like specials and something to lower that base rate to get more people out here and we have more people like interested in like, hey, I can't afford this, but I can afford this. Looking into the fall, apartment complex managers are hopeful to return to normal occupancy rates. Reporting for Hotty Toddy News, I'm AJ Norwood.